Hey everyone, today I want to share with you how much a home remodel like this one cost. This is a flip that we just completed. It's a Victorian style home and it's 100 years old. We did a lot of work on the exterior and the interior and today I'm going to break it all down to show you how much everything cost. Make sure you watch until the end of this video because I'm going to share some tips on how to save on cost on a home renovation. If you are curious about the before and after of this beautiful Victorian renovation we did, mm -hmm. check out this video here. If this is your first time watching my videos, my name is Elisa and I'm a house flipper and real estate investor in the San Francisco Bay Area. I've been flipping houses for four years now and I've done over two dozen flips. I want to use this channel to share my knowledge on home remodeling, so subscribe to the channel if you're interested. Let's start from the exterior work. When I purchased the home, the front yard had a lot of ivy and bushes and the big tree was also overgrowing. So we had to trim the tree back and remove the ivy and the bushes and it cost $1,500. We also had to remove a lot of dirt from the front yard to level the ground in order to put in sod and new plants and that cost $3,500. The exterior siding of the home wasn't taken care of for quite a while, so we had to do a lot of repairs and it cost about $3,000. The exterior painting of the home was kind of expensive, it cost $6,500. Usually on my flips, the exterior painting cost four to 5000 but this time because Victorian homes has more ornate decorations, so the painting is more expensive too. Luckily, the roof isn't very old, so we didn't have to replace it, but it was quite dirty, so we had to power wash it and it cost about $500. And when the previous owner left, she left a lot of trash. It was all over the house, in the attic, in the crawl space, in the garage, and also the backyard. So it was very expensive to remove all of the trash and we had a few dumpsters. It cost $8,000 to remove everything. On the interior of the home, we had to do a lot of drywall work because there was wallpaper in a few rooms and plastered ceiling in some areas. So we had to refinish the wall texture and it was quite expensive, about 7,500. Before I share more cost on this renovation, smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel so you will see more videos on home remodeling like this. I mentioned that in this home, we were able to keep a lot of the original crown molding, baseboards, and trim, so we saved down some cost in that regards, but still, in some rooms, the trim work was not consistent, so we had to do some repairs and that was about 3000 Whenever we do a remodel, we always upgrade the electrical and plumbing up to code. A lot of the older homes that I purchase, it can be expensive to upgrade electrical and plumbing because they haven't been taken care of for a very long time. And on this home, the electrical work cost about $7,000 because we added a lot of recess lights and we put in a lot of light fixtures too. And the plumbing cost about $4,000 to redo the plumbing of this whole house. We also had to repair a lot of the framing work because the previous owner is a handyman and he did some illegal work here that we had to correct and it cost $2,500. The previous owner also did some illegal work in the crowd space that we had to correct and it cost $3,500. The home originally had a floor heater, which is kind of old school and it's not very efficient. So we replaced it with a new furnace that cost almost $6,000. The home has original hardwood floors in many rooms and we only had to add new hardwood floors in the kitchen and the entryway and then refinish the existing hardwood floors and it cost about $7,500 total. Painting the interior of this home was kind of expensive, again, because of the ornate trim and decorations. 
it was $7,500 total. And usually on my flips, it cost about four to 5,000. We put in about 15 new recess lights and we also replaced many light fixtures. And with the new smoke detectors, outlets, and hardware, the total cost was about $2,000. Usually on a home remodel, kitchen and bathroom cost the most. And on this kitchen remodel, it was also on the expensive side because we did a lot of layout changes. We removed a wall that was between the kitchen and the dining room. And we also removed a doorway to the side yard and the access to the basement to make the kitchen bigger. But one thing we did that saved on the cost on the kitchen remodel was we kept all the appliances and plumbing fixtures where they were. With the layout changes and the added cabinets and countertops, the kitchen renovation cost about $30,000. And if you want to see a breakdown on all the kitchen costs, mm -hmm. check out this video. Usually on my flips, I spend about $25,000 on a kitchen remodel. But if the kitchen is bigger and if we do more layout changes, then the costs go up. We did a lot of work on the bathrooms of this house because there was only one guest bathroom before and we were able to use the space in the guest bathroom and the walk-in closet of the master bedroom to create two completely new bathrooms. We had to remove some non-load bearing walls in the old guest bathroom and add a new wall to divide the new space between the guest bathroom and the master bathroom. So the cost was on the higher end. We also had to relocate all the plumbing fixtures in the guest bathroom and add new plumbing fixtures in the master bathroom that we created. And the cost of two bathrooms was about $30,000 total. If you want to see a breakdown on the cost of the bathrooms, mm -hmm. check out this video. Usually on my flips, bathroom cost about $10,000 each. So this time it's, the cost is a lot higher because of all the changes and the new bathroom that we added. The garage was in very poor condition because the siding was damaged and the roof had a lot of overgrown plants that we had to do a lot of repairs. And there was also an illegal bathroom that what the previous owner was trying to build. We had to demo it completely. And we also added a new garage door and repaired the interior of the garage. So all, the, all of that work cost about $8,000. The fence in the backyard was falling apart and we had to do a lot of repairs and also put in new fence and that cost about $1,500. In the backyard, we installed new pavers to create a nice patio and we put in new sod and plants to make the space more beautiful and the total cost was about $4,000. So overall, this renovation cost $140,000 total, which is on the higher end of all of my flips, mainly because this home is 100 years old and it has a lot of deferred maintenance. And also we added a new bathroom, which added to the cost. Some viewers tell me that when they get contractor bids on their own home remodels, the bids are a lot higher than the costs they see on my remodels. That's actually pretty common because when contractors give bids to homeowners, they take into account a few factors. Homeowners tend to pay more attention to details and they make more changes throughout the process. And also they tend to use higher end materials that take longer to install. So it's not uncommon for contractors to give bids to homeowners that are 15 to 30 percent higher than the bids that they give an investor. That being said, there are a few different ways for you to save on the renovation cost. First of all, if you do many tasks at the same time, the cost of each task is going to be cheaper than if you were to do separate tasks at different times. For example, if you were to do a full-on home remodel at once, the cost 
for adding new lights or trim work is going to be cheaper than if you were to do the lights and trim work separately. Secondly, kitchen and bathroom usually cost the most to remodel. But within the kitchen and bathroom remodel, if you keep the plumbing fixtures and appliances where they are originally without relocating them, then you can save a lot on the cost. The third tip is before you start on a renovation, come up with a plan first. So you want to know exactly what layout changes you want to do and what finishing materials you are going to choose and what appliances you are going to order. So when you go get a bid from a contractor, you tell them exactly what you want. So the contractor will see that you already have a plan and it's unlikely for you to go back and forth and waste their time so they can reduce the cost on a lot of the items. If you want to learn about how to make a plan on a home remodel, check out this video. If you enjoyed this episode, smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel so you will see more renovation tips. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.